it is. Others call it crazy, but they all sing this tune. Hello guys, in this video I am pleased to present to you a complete assembly of a model of a British B-plane torpedo bomber from the Second World War, Fairy Swordfish from Revel. At the end I will also decorate this model in a diorama. So watch the video until the end. Enjoy watching. This model is on a scale of 1 to 72, has poor detail. However, a couple of positive points can be noted. The joining of parts turned out to be good and the decals are of good quality. For painting I used original Revel paints. I did not make any additional modification. Since I planned to place the model on a diorama. The swordfish was created on the basis of a TSR-1 naval reconnaissance fire spotter aircraft developed by Ferry. This aircraft, which became the prototype of the swordfish, was designated a, a torpedo bomber fire spotter reconnaissance aircraft. The first flight of the prototype took place on April 17, 1934. The plane was a biplane with a metal frame covered with fabric covering. To save space when based on an aircraft carrier, the wings were folded. The crow was located in two open cabins, the pilot in the front and one of two more crow members in the rear. The landing gear is a traditional design with a tail wheel or in the seaplane version, version two floats. The aircraft was adopted by the Fleet Air Wing, then part of the Royal Air Force, under the designation Swordfish Mark I. The first aircraft began to enter combat units in June 1936, where they replaced the obsolete ferry seal and Blackburn Buffin.
the diorama what I present to you shows the events of 1941 associated with the, the attack of a German battleship Bismarck by the Elias. On the evening of May 26, 1941, in the Atlantic Ocean, Swordfish torpedo bombers flying from the aircraft carrier Ark Royal attacked the Bismarck and thanks to two torpedo hits disabled its rudder as a result of which the ship could no longer operate normally being managed. Between 5 and 6 o'clock in the morning German Admiral Lugens ordered seaplanes Arado 196 to be launched towards the French course to secure the ship's war log, but it was discovered what the aircraft's catapult has failed due to a battle damage. The fully fueled aircraft was then jettisoned to reduce the risk of fire in the upcoming battle. The idea behind the diorama was to place two enemy aircraft flying above the surface of the ocean. Swordfish drops a torpedo and the Arado is pushed by a torpedo bomber. As was previously said, in reality the German Arado plane, which was based on the Bismarck ship, was unable to take off that day. So the action of a diorama can be considered more theoretical. Perhaps during the Second World War there were still duels between those two machines. We don't know. I attached the airplane models to a wire to the base of the diorama. For swordfish I threaded the wire through the torpedo and I masked all visible parts of it with splashed of water. I made an imitation of a surface of ocean water from aluminum foil, which I attached to silicone, when I painted the surface with an airbrush. I made the pillars against water explosions from cotton wool, giving them the appropriate shape. For the dynamics of the action, I replaced the airplane propellers from the kits with homemade ones in motion. They are made of transparent thin plastic and painted with airbrush and brush. I suggest you look at the result of my work. Write your wish and question in the comments. Enjoy watching and see you again.